Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Mark Dickinson from the Gulf Business Academy. Today, I want to talk to you about something that's really important. We are seeing more and more online presentations and pitches happening every single day because obviously working from home, we need to have the skills to be able to present online. So here's what I want to share with you. Six key things that you really need to know. Number one, you've got to practice your pitch. You've got to practice what it is that you want to say. Make sure that you've got it in your head. Make sure that you have your cues. Sure, you can have a PowerPoint or you can have like a list nearby. You can just type up a little list on your computer or whatever it is and have that right in the periphery of your camera. So as you talk, you can just glance like this and say, oh, practice. So first point is practice. Then the second point is confidence. Where does confidence come from? Confidence comes from practice. So if you practice something over three, four, five, six times, by the time you come to present it, it's automatic. It's just coming out of you. And the worst thing is to say, so you know what I mean with this hanging question mark? This shows no confidence. You know what I mean? So <laughs> at the end of the day, you know what I mean? This is powerful stuff. So to show your confidence, you've got to avoid having those hanging question mark sounds. Then third, if you're going to use PowerPoint or you're going to present something, please don't use these little texts floating around on a page with a bit of color somewhere. Take the time, go to something like Canva, create a slide on Canva. Canva has like a million different um, templates. Get the template, type in your stuff, make it look amazing, then copy that as a slide into your PowerPoint. Boom, you've just taken something very average and made it look massive. Number four is spelling. Oh my gosh, listen. Today, in this generation, there's no excuse for having spelling mistakes. We've got spelling checkers, we've got tools that do it, you've got this Grammarly that'll check everything for you. Guys, you can't present with spelling mistakes. So what I suggest you do, get somebody else to read through your presentation. Or even better, read your presentation aloud and read the words that are on your screen and as you read them, you'll go, oh gosh, there's a spelling mistake. So use spell checker. If you miss something, read it aloud and you will probably pick it out. Number five, titles. The silliest titles appear. You know, we had this pitching thing. It was done beautifully. It's done by our friends in Lebanon. They're called Pitchworthy. And they had something like 70 people online on this huge video conference all at the same time. Amazing. And then, you know, you got these kids pitching these ideas and one is the CEO and one is the managing director and one is the general manager and one is and you look at them and you go, guys, you're not old enough to carry that title. Now, I don't mean that you have to be old to be a CEO. You don't. But when you just I'm talking about the age of your business, if you've got like three people in your business and one's the managing director, one's the executive director, and one's director of marketing, it's very silly. So get rid of all this, you know, and just concentrate on having in charge of marketing, in charge of strategy. So you would have your name, Mark Dickinson, in charge of helping do people do amazing presentations. That's your title. You don't need to say manage director, founder, owner, and all the rest of it. When you get a little bit older, then these titles will make some sense. And last, number six, this is critical. Smile. Listen, smile is powerful. And when you smile, even online, you elevate your communication to a higher level. And you know what I realized? So many people that talk about smiling don't actually smile. They say, you know, you've got to smile. And they'll be like this, you know, you have to smile. And I'm like, dude, start by smiling. So here's my six takes on a great presentation. Number one, it's got to be practiced. It's got to be super well practiced. Number two, Lots of confidence because you've practiced, because you know what you're going to talk about. No hanging questions. Number three is make sure that your visuals are awesome. Number four, make sure that you don't have spelling mistakes out there. Number five, make sure that you don't have silly titles because they just discredit you. You look, you look 
less than you can. And last of all, make sure that you smile. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it's useful. This is Mark Dickinson for the Golf Business Academy signing out. Have a great day.